Corey. Well, a couple of things. One, uh, you know, we got that $1.9 trillion stimulus. So a lot of that money is going to go out there and start spending. You're going to probably see a little inflation. So you'll probably see bond rise a little more. I think we're going to get to 2%. So remember, the bond markets are looking down the road. So they're looking at that. And they're looking at the fact that now also with the tech sector, Jobless claims came in better than expected. We got jobless claims came in at, what was it, 712,000. We were looking at 725,000. They came in a little better, which means those at-home stocks may be uh, taking a little hit. Although Disney did great. I don't know see Disney. They reached 100 million subscribers in only what, two months, where Netflix, it took them 10 years. So Disney's acting real strong. But to answer your question directly, I think the market's looking stronger. Uh, I mean, I think because of the bonds, they're going to reach 2% probably, I say, before Christmas. And I think this uh, back to work, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt the, uh, the, the bond market. It's going to get stronger. Well, it hurts them, but it gets stronger. You'll see 2%. And that money that was in the tech sector is going to go into the bond market sector now. They're going to lock that up. That's why we're seeing a negative reaction today to the bond, to the tech sector. If the bond market keeps going up, interest rates, the banks make money on interest rates. That's their whole game now. And that's what you're seeing. The higher the interest rate goes, they reach 2%. They're making a lot more money than they were last year at 1.2%. So the banks look attractive. And you'll see people going into the bank stocks, too. So it all depends on the 10-year. 10-year stays the way it is. And I believe it's going to get 2%. That, yeah, you'll see a lot of money leave the tech sector and go into safe haven, as they say. Uh, we've been we deal with this big insurance company out of Germany and they're putting a lot of money now into the bond market, feeling that's the place to be safe place. Then go to sleep at night and not worry about things. So I think you'll see that move continue. It's, it's all about supply and demand. And you're 100 percent right. As the vaccine takes hold, apparently we have about, I think, almost uh, 30 percent of the country vaccinated right now. And they expect to have about 200 million Americans vaccinated by the summer. And 4th of July, they want to ease restrictions even more. And now you're seeing the parks are opening, all the big game, all the big uh, game parks, Disney World, all these guys are opening now. Uh, people are flying, they're driving. I know people that'll be driving to Florida in a couple of weeks. So overall, that's supply and demand right there. You'll see it go up and up. And I think you'll see, you could see, unfortunately, for the consumer, oil tap out four, four and a half, five dollars by Christmas here in America at the pump. So we got to keep an eye on that. What's good for the oil companies isn't necessarily good for the consumer. I would stay away from gold right now. I mean, I, I thought gold would be the place to be, to be honest with you. I've been wrong on gold. Uh, it, it didn't make much of a move when it was really bad. Uh, the only thing making move, ironically, is the dollar. The dollar's had a pretty nice little run here. We'll see what happens here with the dollar. But uh, overall, I think, you know, equities, uh, besides the uh, tech sector, may have a nice little run. But I think in general, equities, uh, you may see more and more money go into that 10-year right now. It, it, we have so much debt. We really do. But as inflation gets higher, it's going to pair off that debt. Uh, and another reason is that, we're the only game in town. If you look at the euro, that's got problems. If, if you look anywhere in the world, their currencies are a little weaker than ours. So remember, the average guy doesn't buy the dollar, but you do get large corporations and large banks. They go heavy into the dollar. So that's pushing up because really it's the only game in town. And as this um, pandemic ends, the dollar is going to get stronger again. So I think you're going to see the dollar you know, maybe get dollar for dollar. It could get high enough. It's going to be interesting. And you and I have been talking about this. And it's been going up for the last few few months now. And I think it's going to continue to go up, at least through the summer. You know, we, we have now, we have the one point, what is it, $9 trillion uh, stimulus plan in play here. That's going to keep a, a market, a lid on the market, I think, uh, for, the, for the next few months as people sort that out. Are they going to go into the bond market or what are they going to do? I think the market's going to stay back and forth in this range. I think the market's going to close about another 2,000 points higher by Christmas. But I think as we go into the summer, we could pick up a lot of steam. We'll have to wait and see. The unemployment number comes out next week again. We'll see what that looks like. Uh, a lot depends on the jobs number. 
And, you know, if things stay strong, if this pandemic looks like it's behind us, if the vaccines have really taken hold, you could see a nice run on the market. But next week, I think we stay in this zone. I don't think we're going to see much of an upside move again. I mean, we're up substantially just in the last two weeks uh, on, you know, a lot of it was based on the stimulus and on the job. Now that's behind us. There's no real earnings coming out big next week. So the next big play will be earnings season, which is in a couple of weeks. So we'll see what happens then. But overall, I think next week will be not quiet, but it's in this range. I don't see it much of a big play now that we know what's going on with the stimulus. I don't see the 10-year jumping up to 10 to 2% till maybe this summer when the, when the pandemic is more behind us. But I do see the 10-year having a big hole on the market and putting a cap on it come the summer.